Everybody has developed an e-commerce store before with Shopify knows what is a Shopify theme. We do have Shopify themes like Dawn, Sans, and many more. This Shopify themes uses an architecture which includes the templates, the snippets, the assets, the sections, and much more. Now, one of the big problems with this architecture is that it is not scalable, or let me just put it this way, you cannot have the freedom to be creative, to create whatever template you can think of, because everything is structured as is. And that is where headless commerce comes in. So headless commerce is an expression that we say to separate the front end from back end. Or we can simply say that headless commerce is an approach to separate your user interface from your business logic. And this allows developers to create or build whatever type of e-commerce stores that they can imagine. You want to create your own learning management system? Boom, you can do that. You want to create TikTok? Boom, don't. With headless commerce, you're basically free to create your own front-end architecture in your own language, in your own programming language, and in your own style. So without further ado, let me introduce to you Hydrogen by Shopify. So Hydrogen is the Shopify stack for headless commerce provides utilities and tools for building dynamic and performant e-commerce applications or commerce applications. And also it's working with a web framework that we call Remix. So if you don't know Remix, it's basically four things combined. It's a compiler, a server-side HTTP handler, a server framework, and a web framework. Now I know this is a lot to process. If you are a new Shopify developer who is used to writing liquid codes, this might be too overwhelming or yeah, like I said, it's a lot to process. So what we're going to do in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create the boilerplate of hydrogen or the hydrogen boilerplate. We're going to learn everything step by step. In fact, I think I'm just gonna make this into a series so that we can learn everything slowly and so that you will have the freedom to just skip like a video or a lesson if you want. But just a disclaimer, I am not a hydrogen developer. I am not an expert yet. I've just taken a look at it for a few days and for now, I just wanna share what I've learned so far. So if you wanna join me, if you wanna join me learning this, then grab your computer and prepare your developer tools, development tools, open your VS code, your terminal, whatever tools you have, and let's begin. Okay, so once you're ready, just open your browser and go to shopify.dev and log into your partner's account. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a development store and generate a storefront API token because that's what we need. So open your VS code, open your code editor, and then open your terminal. And what we're going to do is we're going to run or execute the commands here. And before doing that, like I said, we need a development store. So create a new development store. Just go to stores and then create a new store by clicking the create store. And for this, we'll just call it hydrogen weekly how store. Okay. And we're gonna need the storefront URL. So I'll just copy that. And no, this is not a mortar store, so just click create a development store. And while we're waiting on that, I'll have the following documentation or tutorial and we're going to follow this, okay? Now, if you want to follow along, make sure that you have the following required uh, development tools. I'm talking about Node.js, but if you install Node.js by default, you'll also have the Node package managers. So just install it if you want to follow along. It's pretty easy, it's not that hard. And we'll have the following, step one, create the project. We'll have to execute the following command, okay? So here in my terminal, I'll run npm create ahobaz shopify forward slash hydrogen, and then the latest. And it's going to ask you to install the package hydrogen and just press yes. Obviously it's going to take a while. Okay, there it is. It didn't ask me to install that because I already installed it before. So I assume it's installed globally. But if it asks you, just press Y and then press enter, okay? And once that's installed, it's going to ask you which template you want to use. It asked me, hello world, or we do have two options, hello world and demo store. I assume the demo, demo store is the, um, 
is this is the Shopify store with like boards. That's what I remembered. That's the first demo store like months ago, weeks ago. But we, we now have a new template called Hello World. And that's what we're going to pick in this video. So Hello World. And it's going to ask you which language you want to use, JavaScript or TypeScript. If you're comfortable with JavaScript like me, then pick JavaScript. And now it's going to ask you the name of your app or your hydrogen storefront. We'll call it Weekly How Custom Store Front. And that's going to create that folder here. Notice that we now have a new folder. And inside of this, you'll have the following files. The most important um, folder here or directory is the app. This is where you're going to create your routes and your style sheets, even your JavaScript. You can write it here. And we do have the server.js. I'm not going to go through this because what we want to focus on is the app. Okay. And we'll have to install the dependencies. So just focus on the terminal for now and install the dependencies. So press yes. Okay. So according to the documentation, we've done all of this. We just need to um, change to the working directory once everything is installed. And once everything is installed, we can just execute um, yarn dev or npm run dev. And it's going to generate a server or a local host development um, URL and you will have the following output, okay? You will see that later once we're done. So while we're waiting on that, let's just go back to our development store and start generating a new storefront API token. So let's open the settings and then we should have here like apps and sales channels. Click that. And what we wanna do here is create a new app. So develop apps and allow custom app development. And just click allow custom app development. But if you wanna read, feel free to read, but I'm not wasting your time, so I'll just click yes. Okay, so once that's done, it's going back to the create a custom app page, and now we can create a custom app. Let's create an app and just call it whatever you want. I'll call it custom um, storefront. Click create. And then now notice that we now have here the configure storefront API scopes. If you want, you can just click that and just check everything. I honestly don't recommend doing that, but since it's just us, no one's doing anything else. So I'll just press anything. I'll just check everything. Now, why did I say it's not recommended to do all of this? Because basically you're giving this Shopify app all this um, access scopes, which is not really recommended but say for example you have a shopify developer you're not the developer you're working with someone you're just a merchant if the developer has all those access scopes it's kind of dangerous because he has access to those so as much as possible try to be cautious on which access scopes you give so that's just one of the tips i can give okay but it's just since it's just us then we can do this, okay? Now we can just hit save and that should save all of it. Now we can generate a new token by going here to the API credentials tab. And now we can install this app. So click install, click install. There we go. Now we do have the storefront API access token and just Ignore the following API key and secret key. Honestly, you don't need that. What you want here is the storefront API token, okay? Now, I'm not going to copy this yet because remember I copied the store URL? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So we're gonna need that because we need to update the env file or the environment file. And here, by default, it's using the following API token or storefront API token. This token is from Shopify. So you'll have to change that if you want, okay? But if you don't change that, I think you'll have the following. So let's just npm run dev. No, I don't think it's gonna work because we need to change to the following directory. Sorry about that. So cd and then weekly how custom store front. And we can just execute npm run dev. There you go. 
Let's just wait for it. And there you go. Now we have the following local host and the port 3000. Let's just open that. Now, if you don't change the API token as well as the domain, you will have the following. Okay. Hello, hydrogen. Now, notice that there is this message. You're seeing this because you have not yet configured your access token. So to get started, you need to change the values inside of the environment file or the .env file. And that's what we're going to do, okay? So I'll change the public store domain to my Shopify store domain, okay? So I'll just change the hydrogen hyphen preview to the following. You don't have to um, get rid of the .myshopify.com because you just need to change the user, um, the store name, okay? Okay, next is the API token. I'll just go back to my um, Shopify development store and I'll just copy the following access token, copy that, and just change the API token here in the env file, okay? Save it. And now if we go back to our storefront, notice that it's updated. Now it's saying hydrogen weekly how store and we no longer have that message. Oh, you need to update the env file. Now it's working, okay? So we're doing progress, we're making progress. The next is we need to create a new page, a new route, if I can say that. So how can we create a route? We can create a route inside of the app and we need to create a new folder called routes and then inside of the routes, we need to create the index. So it starts with an underscore. Now, I'm not sure why it starts with underscore. I haven't read that far, but you need to name it underscore index.jsx. From what I can recall, you need to name it that way. And then here you need to create two methods. You need to export two methods. First is the meta to create the meta description and then the meta tags. Next is the um, the component. So first, I'll just create React. Um, and then we need to export a function. And the name is called index. And then here, we need to return something. Like an HTML code. So div. And then we can create an h1 tag and say something like, hello, world. And then also like div with a description like this is an example homepage. And then the next function that we need to export is the meta. So export meta, something like that. Now I'm not entirely sure the formatting. So let's just go back to the tutorial and let's scroll down. We're done with this. So we don't need to uh, follow that. Now, if you want to um, learn more about the structure of your um, hydrogen project, feel free to read this. It's really interesting. Next is the create a route. This is what we're doing. So this is what I'm talking about. We need to create the following meta method. So let's just copy that and just replace this one like so. Okay. So now if we save this, if we go back to our store, it didn't change anything. The reason why it's not changing or it's not updating is that you need to um, restart your hydrogen, your hydrogen project. So how can we do that? We need to go back to the terminal and restart it by pressing control C and then by pressing Y. And now we need to execute. And now we have to execute npm run dev once again. Okay. And now we can go back to our storefront. If we refresh that, there you have it. Now we have the following output. So that is one of the things that caught my attention. It's really, really interesting because it's so easy to um, create a new page and a new route, but I haven't went far. I still don't know how to um, create a product page, how to create a collection page, etc. If I change my URL to say, for example, collections, I don't know if it's going to do something. It's empty. So that means we still don't have that route. So that's one of the things that I, I still need to um, learn. Okay, so pretty much that's how you create your hydrogen project using Node. And that's pretty much how you create your first route. So what do you think? Personally, I think it's great, but I think it's not for, you know, it's not for beginners or it's not beginner friendly. 
So like I said, if you're a new front-end developer, this might be too much to handle because you have to learn React, you have to learn TypeScript, you have to learn Node running commands, you have to learn how routes work, how Remix work, you have to learn CSS and HTML. There's just a lot to cover. But yeah, what do you think? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. I'll create a part two for this video. In fact, I'll, like I said, I'll just create a series for this. So we learn everything step by step. Obviously, if you want that, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just continue my projects, my other projects. I'm currently working on a short movie that I'd love to share with you guys um, in the future. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.